What's up YouTube? Have you been wondering about the new app Procreate Dreams which is coming to the iPad in November? Well that's what we're here to talk about today. Welcome back, my name is Ben Nielsen. I'm a media design educator and today I'm going to be sharing my thoughts on the new app Procreate Dreams which was just announced last week for the iPad. It's going to be coming on November 22nd and it's going to cost $20. Happy Christmas. Now, before we get started, I just need to clarify that I was not one of the creators who was given beta access to Procreate Dreams. So I can't tell you anything firsthand about using it or how it works. So I'm not going to be great at answering really detailed questions about it because I've only seen probably what you've seen in the announcement video and from some of the creators here on YouTube who did get access. But I have to tell you, I am just like over the moon excited for this app to be coming out. And there's a couple reasons why that I really want to highlight that I think Mark, how important this app is to the iPad and to the creative industry. First off, I'm not an animator. I do some motion graphics here and there and that kind of thing, but I don't do traditional animation. But I know people who are animators and I know that the software that they have been dealing with for years and years has been clunky and difficult takes a ton of processing power and a really high learning curve and that that software has served as a barrier to entry into this art field for so many people. People are like, well, I like to draw, I would like to animate, but that software is really difficult to deal with and it can't have really that same flow and feel that traditional 2D animation had. And this app is set up to change all of that by making it very approachable, accessible at an affordable price and easy to learn. And I really, really love that because you know I love to see more people be creative. I think that I will become a better animator with this for sure. And I think that a lot of you will as well. So I'm super, super excited about that and to see some of that gatekeeping get removed from the animation industry. I really wanna highlight here that this is a big move because Procreate's moving into another industry and they're showing something that really they're the only ones that have done. While Apple made the iPad Pro way back, I think it was in 2017, it was really Procreate that showed that it actually could be pro, that it could be used for professional applications because most of the big players in the creative space didn't make a true and good app for it. It really looked at the drawing experience and what the iPad could offer to it uniquely and made a really wonderful and unique experience that in lots of ways was better than any desktop drawing app. And I think that we'll see the same kind of thing happen here for animation as they really harness the unique capabilities of the iPad and the Apple Pencil. You know, when Procreate released and then became more and more popular, it actually forced Adobe, this giant behemoth of a company, it forced their hand to actually do something that they could have done for years, and that was to create a drawing app. They could have done that at any time after they created the Photoshop brush engine, but they just didn't. So they never did that until Procreate forced their hand, and then they released Fresco with the Photoshop brush engine, but as a drawing first app instead of as a photo first app. And that was a big, thing. So it's really going to be interesting to see what happens in the animation industry as Procreate forces their hand. You know, Procreate Dreams already, you can see it is just going to dance circles around anything that Adobe has for animation. Adobe has had a lot of different attempts at animation in some way or another. After Effects, Animator, Flash, there's been so many different things that they've done for animation. Um, character Animator, but they just haven't really ever cracked it, except for the motion graphics side of it with After Effects. So it's gonna be really interesting to see if they make some kind of response to this or if the other big players in the animation industry have to make some kind of response to this. We'll see what kind of adoption we get from animation studios after this. Certainly, it's gonna make it much easier for small studios, single person operations, or just a few people operations to create really, really great animations. I imagine that you could do a full length feature in here, though I expect we will see a lot of shorts coming out of Procreate Dreams. The next reason that I'm really excited about Procreate Dreams is more of a personal reason and that is the motion graphics applications for it. So obviously it can do traditional animation frame by frame but it also can do a lot of key framing things that we are used to doing in a program like After Effects or Fusion. And so I'm really excited to see this come to it because it seems like it's going to be a lot more intuitive and accessible and be on the iPad. We just haven't had a really good motion graphics editor on the iPad at all. And I know that people want it because I just did one little video one time on a light motion, a motion graphics editor that really wasn't that good, but a lot of people have watched it and a lot of people have commented on it simply because they want a motion graphics editor on the iPad. So I'm really excited to finally see that happen from a really reputable 
good company. And of course, I'm super excited that we'll be able to do these drawing things. So a lot of people were really excited when Final Cut came to the iPad. The feature that excited people was the ability to draw on footage directly, but it's a little bit limited. Now I haven't used Final Cut Pro myself on the iPad because it is a subscription model. So I haven't gone down that route, but it does seem like that drawing was limited, but exciting. So it's going to be really interesting to see a full feature drawing app where you can just draw on your animation onto your footage. And I know that a lot of people are really excited about that. It seems like it's just going to blow whatever Final Cut has completely out of the water. Lastly, of course, I want to talk a little bit about price. You know, I was really disheartened when Final Cut and Logic went to subscription model on the iPad. That was sad for me to see Apple do that. Although we know that Apple has been pushing more and more into the subscription space, so it wasn't all that surprising. It was still sad. And so to see Procreate release a new app that's going to revolutionize an industry and not charge a subscription for it, but instead charge a very reasonable $20 one-time purchase for the app is just incredible and makes me really pleased with the people at Procreate and what they are doing there. I know that this app is going to sell like crazy, so I think that they will be well rewarded for that, but obviously they could have just tried to make more money by charging a subscription, but they chose not to. And I think that this was summed up, they used the quote from Walt Disney where he talked about create films to make money. We make money so we can create more films. And they talked about how they don't make software to make money. They make money so that they can make more software. And I think that that's a really good philosophy, right? And shows a lot more care for the creators than some place like Adobe does. So those are kind of my initial thoughts on Procreate Dreams. I am super excited about it. Of course, like you, I can't wait to get my hands on it on November 22nd. And you know that I will be putting together a review of it as well as creating a course on it in the first couple months after its release. So go ahead and subscribe to make sure you're there for that. Now, I wanna hear from you. What do you think about Procreate Dreams? What will you be doing with it? And what do you think an app like this means for the iPad ecosystem as a whole? We'll chat in the comments and I will see you in the next video.